Hey everybody, it's been a while since I posted a video. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff going on, but most importantly, I'm getting ready for my Chaos game, which still hasn't happened, but I want to have my minis painted if I can, because, you know, I'm, I'm just, I would feel ashamed if my minis weren't painted on a table, considering I consider myself a painter more than a player. Uh, I gotta get these three fanatics done. Sorry, we're so blurry. Most importantly, I gotta get these boar riders done. And back there, you can see old Gorbad and my regular troops that are waiting to go in. Four boarmen, three spearmen, three choppers. You only see two there because Gabork, the half goblin, half orc, where's he at? Is nearly completed. But he is a fun little, just chop the nose off. If you guys go to WarTube, you'll see some still pics of my work. Um, War tube's pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, everybody else who's cool on YouTube's a member, so you'll see what I've done here is chop the regular bore, added a little green stuff around the head to line it up straight. Let me find a bore that's the same. Yeah, this one's the same. I'll take this guy off. But it's your standard bore. Chop it base off little green stuff and he's rearing up and this guy for instance can say hey go faster go faster we got to get there so he in theory I've magnetized his arm so that I can just make him a regular instead of him being the uh, leader of the crew because I only have five savage and five regular well it's, these aren't really regular boar boys but I consider these regular boar boys. I can choose, you know, I'll throw five in the front and say, okay, there's five savages. Nah, really, it's ten. Or there's five regular in the front, so really there's ten. We play the pretend rules here. Um, Orc with pigs about then? He just got a little, sorry about this camera work, this is horrible. A little work to do on his book, and I have to add the final highlights to the flame because I touch it. And if I'm picking him up by it, there's no point doing that until last and giving it some clear coat. I'll use gloss on the flame because it'll make it look shiny. Like light coming out. Been working on Gorbad's shield. His shield alone is about a mini's worth of work. Bunch of skulls. None of the highlighting's done yet. That's just bleached bone with some uh, various washes to make them look. Sorry, it's upside down. Make it look a little different. Because not every skull is the same color. Trust me, I've got a few. Um, yeah, that's really all I got to say. Bogged down, trying to catch up. Got three minis almost done out of what, 20? So, that's three. Pretty much done. I can just kind of slide them back and say, eh, whenever I get around to it. Extra shaman from the blister pack I'm working on. Not looking too pretty in this light. But everything's just in either base coat and these guys have all been washed and then I've got a black outline. If I have more skin than uh, anything else, I don't do the black outlines first because I'll get the wash on it. I'll do it second. Like this guy has just been washed. You can kind of see. Just a little muscle definition. Try and avoid the blotches. You always get one under the arm though, it seems like. Um, yeah, I've been asked about doing some how to paint things. If I do do anything like that, it's gonna be still pics because as you tell, man, if I'm yeah, painting something, the blur, eh, no good. You're not gonna be able to see what the heck's going on anyway. So I'll probably do a unit of goblins and just do one with just skin, do the next one I'll wash it, the next one I'll outline it, the next one I'll do all the blacks, the next one I'll do all the reds, and then you'll have like a step-by-step -step picture process because the best thing I can tell you is go to like a, we have Gordon's food service around here, buy some little solo cups, you can get like 200 with lids for five bucks, here's one inside another. This wash is literally three days old, it's starting to dry out some because I've had it under my light, you can see where it's condensating. But when I go back and do the very darkest spots on these guys, this wash will be a little bit thicker. It'll be darker, more pigment, 
and uh, yeah, you can see where some of the paint I'll, I'll have to stir it up but that's still good paint in the bottom it's liquefied so yeah a little pointer just get you some solo cups I think these are two ounce any restaurant supply place will have them or maybe you can get some from a local restaurant <laughs> um, yeah that's all I gotta say I got a whole bunch of stuff in process you can see I got the dragon put together the riders is put together so he'll be till he's painted the pump wagons ready to be primed so that's the primer corner these are the already primed models the Goriloth is there just to tease Stuart and make him wish I was painting it picked up the new orc raider with a, yet another torch this one's got some severed heads for trophies and I can't wait to get to that squig rider back there and the random wizard so yeah take it easy everybody see ya